Hey everyone, wanted to shoot this little video because I tried something different last month. I went and tried dry February. It's something I've never really done before. To be honest, I don't really drink a whole lot to begin with. I might have one drink a week, maybe two, but usually just one. So anyways, I decided to try dry February. I thought I'm not gonna have any alcohol or anything like that for the month. And it was kind of an interesting experiment. By telling myself that I wasn't gonna have alcohol for a month, it actually made me want it more. When I would go to the fridge at night, more times than not, I wanted a drink. I wanted to have a beer, an old fashioned, or something like that. I would even sometimes have some of my Amarino cherries that I would throw in an old fashioned just to get that flavor from the cherries. So I went the whole month without having anything. As soon as March kicked in, I was able to have something. And I still haven't, and today's the eighth. And for whatever reason, I don't really want anything. I haven't really craved anything. And if I wanted to have it, then I would. But I just thought it was a really interesting experiment and something that people could use for whether it's nutrition. If you're telling yourself that, no, you can't have this and you're trying to be very strict with something and really saying that, you know what, I'm gonna give that up for a month or three months or six months or whatever, and it makes you want it even more, that could be a bit of an issue. But if you allow yourself to have some of that stuff, if you work it into your daily macros and you have it, is it really that big a deal? It only becomes a real issue if you're taking in a lot more calories than what you're burning throughout the day and your goal is weight loss. Or if you're trying to gain and maintain lean muscle mass and you're not balancing out your macros and eating enough protein and instead having too much carbs and fat, that's gonna be an issue too. I don't know if this helps or if any of you have ever felt that way, but I thought I would just throw that out there. I thought it was interesting. I thought the forcing myself to not have something made me crave it even more which was a bit of an eye opener. This is where I think finding balance can go a long way instead of being super restrictive and then falling off the deep end because of that. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully it gives you something to think about. Hopefully it makes you a little bit better than yesterday. Thanks for watching.